All right, everyone, file on in. They can't hear me outside. It's only the folks that are in here that can hear me. I get it. <laughs> yeah. What was the last on conference session that was in here? Data management. Nice. Important topic, maybe? It's all good. <clears throat> no, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, closing things, closing remarks here, but the groups that are in the hinterlands are making their way over. So we've got a couple minutes before we get started. Talk about Twimmel. Talk about Twimmel. All right, Twimmel, AMA. What would you like to know about Twimmel? Stuff. <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> the whole point of Twimmel was to make it so that you hear what I hear. <laughs> Global domination? Yes. Actually, so two days ago was International Podcast Day. Who knew that? Anybody? Uh, and maybe two days before that, we realized via happenstance that uh, we are on the all-time bestseller tech podcast list uh, on iTunes. This is pretty awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so actually, uh, <clears throat> so the summer before last, I had my daughter who was uh, now a sophomore, uh, but was a freshman, going into her freshman year, uh, doing computer science, do an experiment for us, looking at um, using cloud transcription services to transcribe the podcast. Um, we learned a lot in that experiment. <laughs> uh, so our initial, our plan going into this was she was just going to take a bunch of services. We had some transcribed file, some, some pot, some, uh, audio and transcriptions, and she was going to, uh, run these through a bunch of different services and kind of measure the results. Um, we learned that, first of all, the default settings for all of these services are basically useless, right? They have uh, all different kind of modes. You can put them in different channels and there's a voice and a, a video and stuff like that. And uh, <clears throat> You, you really have to spend a lot of time with each service trying to understand what its best settings are for your use case. Um, and then they all really struggled with technical conversations and accents and multi-party conversations. Uh, it was not easy. We don't have transcri transcription up on the, the podcast yet. Um, we do it uh, from time to time, but usually if we're, do if we're doing it uh, for reference, like for internal reference, we'll do machine transcription and just kind of overlook its foibles. Uh, but for uh, things that matter where we're going to publish it, we always use a service that does it by hand. So I'm sure someone will fix this problem, and there are probably things that we haven't found yet, but uh, it wasn't quite ready for us. Uh, how are we doing on time? Is Carolyn here? I'm right here. Yeah. Are we good to go? Yep, okay, cool. So um, I thought maybe we'd start with a little bit of, of unconference wrap up. I, I wonder if everyone from the if that's in this room was just in this last unconference session and everyone else took the opportunity to escape. <laughs> uh, but uh, do we have some volunteers just to kind of share, you know, the, how many of you have been to unconferences before or done unconferences before? So mostly first-timers, how was it? 
It was a pretty cool addition to the agenda. Any uh, <clears throat> takeaways from any of your sessions? Any volunteers? We've got mic rudders. We've got to use them. Hey, everyone. I'm Robert. Uh, I wasn't the organizer of the, the data session just now, but the organizer didn't turn up. Um, <laughs> so a few of ours. Which is OK. Are it's good. an unconference. Yeah, yeah. They voted fine. with their feet. It was probably better, yeah. Um, uh, so basically, uh, no one has solved versioning, um, unfortunately. Uh, we didn't solve it in the unconference. Um, but what about the people that claim that they've solved versioning? Um, I mean, there are vendors that have claimed they solved version in. We'll, we'll, we'll see how Vendors they are people, too. But, um, <laughs> vendor companies are people, too. Um, but the, the most common pattern that people agreed was working for, for a lot of them was simply to use GitHub uh, to version uh, the metadata uh, around their, uh, their data sets um, and then take care of, of data sets on the file systems themselves. Um, so I guess the, the big takeaway there would be if that's what you're doing right now, um, there's no consensus out there that there's anything better. So you can feel good about it. Cool. How about you hand the mic to Manasi and you can talk about your winning session. Yes. Um, so open we had what, was, what was the session again? ML Infra. It was built by versus open source. Um, I have notes that I will be writing up and posting on my train ride back. So in the next hour or two. Uh, but it was a cool session. People were discussing some good things about open source, like a lot of community support, particularly in Stack Overflow, issues related to lack of maturity in open source ML infrastructure tools. Um, and the big takeaway from there for people looking to buy is know what you want before you go into a vendor conversation, because then you're going to maybe get sidetracked by what the vendor is offering. And then it might not be a good fit either ways. So. Cool. I'll mention on that note that the app uh, what what did you think about the app? How did you like using the Whova app? It's kind of top of the heap for conference apps, right? Not too shabby. Eh, I saw a shrug back there. Yeah. I saw you. Well, the app is still it stays open for at least another month or so. So, for example, the blog post you're writing up, you can post it in that conversation, and folks can find it there. Uh, also, the slides. Uh, that we've collected from presenters. Not all of the presenters have given us their slides, um, but we'll be chasing them down and all that. And the ones that we have will be uploaded by Monday. And you just go into the session, and the slides will be in there in the app. Uh, any other unconference? Uh, edge one. Cool. Uh, yeah, so we had a really good group, group of people at the Edge uh, one. and. Uh, it's pretty early. Yeah, so inference at the edge is really not that mature, and we're still all kind of groping our way around. But uh, it, it really holds great potential. So the real benefit of, of um, inference at the edge is you can preserve privacy. Basically, if the data never leaves your device, then essentially you're guaranteed that uh, that data won't be misused. So we're, we were basically discussing differential privacy and federation uh, around trying to essentially um, actionalize Using uh, the local device for inference, so it was pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Uh, pretty good group, and it was very positive. Awesome, John. I could do the making ML teams more efficient session. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we had a nice power law distribution of people uh, team sizes, uh, ranging from one uh, to two group uh, experiences up to thirty-five and a hundred. So we. That was really nice, I, I, and we were small enough to fit around a little table in the pub. That was also super nice. It's really hard to hear people in these big open spaces, I found. Um, and so that we had a good session. We um, some of the take homes were that um, full stack ML engineers are unicorns, and uh, even if you have one and he's a jerk, you should uh, hang on to them. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> that's very specific. I know. Uh, and uh, there is a version of Agile that works with ML, um, and um, and you should embrace it. Um, that was good news for me. Um, hmm? What's the name of the variant of Agile? Oh, it's it's just Agile. But for example, uh, the units of work in in machine learning uh, deserve to be first class citizen. You know, stories and such and so forth, um, which a lot of data scientists don't like, um, but it really helps your team. Anyone from that session remember anything else cool? 
I guess that covers it. Cool. Uh, so probably the most popular question that I've received today is, when's the next TwomoCon? What do you all think about the conference? Yeah. Nice? Awesome. Cool. Uh, so we will keep you posted as to when the next TwomoCon is, uh, but uh, in my opening remarks, I showed that uh, this event grew out of, uh, in no small part, uh, impromptu stuff that I've been doing at NeurIPS for the past couple of years. And for any of you who are also tend academic from time to time, I will be at NeurIPS again this year and uh, we'll probably do something a little bit bigger and more formal. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Um, <clears throat> The little podlets we've been doing have been awesome. If you would like to jump on a few minute podcast and uh, chat with me, I'd love to talk to you and learn a little bit about what you're doing. And you know, we're posting those up. Uh, we've set up upstairs right uh, by the top of the stairs. Uh, so if you are not running for Caltrain and you can stick around for a few minutes and share your thoughts on the event or what you're up to, I would love to uh, talk to you. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, I really just wanna say thanks to all of you for coming and uh, thanks to the great team that helped put this event together. Uh, first and foremost, my partner in crime, my wife, Kalila, has been an amazing, <clears throat> An amazing support for me uh, in all things, period. Um, but especially when I started this podcast three years ago and uh, the first few weeks of it were like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna spend all of our weekends making this podcast. And uh, she put up with that for a few weeks, which let it get started. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Uh, Carol and Linda, our, our event uh, management team, could not have done this without them. I spent most of my time at this event walking around wondering when the other shoe was going to drop. And th no shoes ever dropped. It, this was such a smooth event. Hopefully it was a smooth event for you. I know the food was great. The trains were running mostly on time for the most part. Um, and uh, I really enjoyed it. So thank you both for your help. Uh, AV, uh, if you had a chance to meet, uh, the AV team was a great support as well. Photographers, thank everyone, thank you all. Um, and uh, Amari and Mia are outside kind of getting the, the podcast booth ready. Um, so they're not here to hear your applause, but uh, they are amazing as well. So thank you all for coming to TwimbleCon and being part of the first uh, event. Thank you.